That Wulo where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now, if we don't find that Pokemon soon this might be trouble. Doing all right there score bunny? Let's be sure you're in tip top shape. There. Now let's push on. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out you think? Come on Ked. That Wulu might be in real trouble. This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. What in the... Wah! The move had no effect on it. Ked. I can't see anything. You okay? I can't see anything. Hop. Ked. Wa, Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pantsith directions, you always get lost. Oh that's nice to hear from the lit brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. The little chap's just fine, though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good Hop. And at least that Wu was all right. Yeah, Ked, I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it. 
so the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday, for now let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience. This'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Well now. Isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me, off to Wedgehurst aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey, buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. And you, Score Bunny, look after my little kid. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on front. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time, I'm hopeless with directions, see how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you, I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me, to keep me from getting lost all the time, now, in we go. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen, super-strong Pokémon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day, when I got lost on the road, oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well I like the way she cooks, 
She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tisk. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Ked. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? Foo, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh. Looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Rotom phones are handy little things aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so. Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Don't worry. Here, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the poke decks? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Leon's a right amazing champion, and I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Gran's official assistant either, I've just been calling myself one, somehow, it makes me feel a little restless. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points, gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down the far end of Route 2. I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab. On the opposite side is the station. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grow up. But I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out, the way Leon does.
I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. The Charizard Pose Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Welcome to the Poke Mart. May I help you? Is there anything else I can do for you? Do come again. I'm sorry, but please speak to me again once you have access to the wild area. The world you see out the window of a train. It never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Got your Pokedex from Sonia? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on Ked. Bet you've never been inside one. Level with me, Kaed. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Then the future champions got you covered. First things first, you talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed up. And Pokemon you catch are kept in computers like the one you can find here, see? After all, you can only bring six Pokemon with you on the road in your party. The potions they sell at the Poke Mart got me out of a real rough spot the other day. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers. I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Kaed. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting. Score Bunny and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. It's true that wild Pokemon can be scary. But once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask away. Well, come back anytime. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free. Welcome to the Poke Mart. May I help you? Do come again. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? He he he. 
This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm? Do you want me to tell you your fortune too? Okay. In that case, can you tell me the month you were born? I got it. So your birthday is September 18th? So, since you were born on September 18th, your fortune is. Let's see here. Hmm? What's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and, I can't really read it. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Berries, I've got your fresh picked berries, what do you say, interested in something? Thanks for stopping by. Come again. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Thank you for coming by, and do feel free to use our changing room whenever you'd like to. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Listen Ked. I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff, so I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all, keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there, and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches.
Basics for Pokemon Trainers, Lesson 1 The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, Lesson 2 Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, Lesson 3 If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. You see that house in the distance, with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Over here, Ked. All right, Ked. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee? Where'd you come from? Only, look at you, little Ked. You've already caught some on your own. Your mum gave you those poke balls, did she? I'll give you some more poke balls. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? The Pokemon on your team will get EXP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get EXP points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good alright? Alright. I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. <laughs>